guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a proper correct toe touch. Now, so how to do a proper correct toe touch. There's two different counts that you can do, okay? I'm going to show them to you like after I show you the precautions first. The precautions is make sure your hair is out of your face. It's like I'm just like going to put mine up in a bun real quick. Make sure your hair is out of your face so like you don't fall because your hair is in your face and you can't see your feet or anything like that. Make sure that you have enough room. Something I do is I just do this whenever I'm ready to do a toe touch. If I hit anything, I move, okay? So, the counts for your toe touch, there's two different counts, okay? One count could be five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you come up with spirit. And then this is the second way. The second way is five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, swing. Five, six, seven, eight, up one. Okay? Now your toe the counts are gonna be a little fast, a lot faster actually, because this is how it would actually look. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That's how it would actually look because you're doing this. It's what you're doing, okay? The counts aren't just going to be like, okay. Your, your feet don't come down like this. They don't come down that gracefully, okay? Taking my hair down. Okay, so then I'm going to work on the position your body needs to be in to do a toe touch. The stance. Okay, so it goes five, six, seven, eight. Class. Okay. Now you might think I'm saying clap. I'm not saying clap. I'm saying clasp. Okay. For new people, a clasp is this. See how my hands are like this? A clap is this. Like when my hands are like blades and like. So. <coughs> clap. Clasp. So, you're going to clasp on one, five, six, seven, eight. Clasp one. And then, depending on the school, I'm going to do what my school does. So, one, count two, up three, high V, four, swing, five, six, to a T, seven, eight, clean, one. Okay? Now, some schools might do it like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. That's what some schools do, but my school does it the other way. So if your coach does it another way, don't go tell them that's not the wrong way to do. It. That's the wrong way to do it. No, there's two right ways to do it, or more. Okay. So now I'm gonna focus on like your chest position. Your chest should be up and out. Like this shows like you're confident and like so it should be. Five, six, seven, eight, clasp. One, two, high V, chest up. Three, four, swing. Keep your chest up. It's going to be really hard to keep your chest up through all of it, but believe me, it looks a lot better than this, okay? This is what your chest should not look like. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. That's what your chest should not look like. Your chest should always be up like this. Your chest should always be up because that shows that you're confident and you're ready, okay? <coughs> okay. So, and then now I'm going to focus on your legs. So, your legs should not be like this. They should not be flexed and they should not be bent like that, okay? I literally almost fell. They should not be like this or like this. Okay, they should be straight and pointed, like this. Okay? Like, you guys can play that in slow motion if you want to. I'll do it again, just in case. They should be like that, okay? And you might be thinking, Oh no, I'm not flexible, I can't do this. Well, guess what? I have a lot of friends that aren't flexible, and they can still do it really good. 
it just helps if you're flexible, okay? So, like, your feet might not be right here. They might be right here. But that's okay, because my feet are right there. And my toe touch. My coaches tell me that my toe touch looks good. Okay. So, now, we're going to, like, y'all know the arm movements. Y'all know how your chest should look. This is the wrong way to do a toe touch, okay? I'm going to demonstrate the wrong way. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. You see how like bad that looked and how my chest was down and how my feet were like that? They were flexed, my chest was down, and it just looked really bad, okay? This is a good toe touch. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Like I got like, cleaned and they came up really sharp. And my toes looked good and my chest was up, okay? So yeah. That is how you do a proper toe touch. Now I'm going to show you guys some stretches and workouts that you guys can do to get your toes, to get your toes and your legs higher on your toe touch. Like this was this to this. Okay, it works. Okay. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and these stretches real quick. Hope you guys enjoy these stretches. Okay, so your first exercise that you're going to do is you're going to get into a straddle. Make sure you're stretching right here. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to lift your legs up. And then down. You could keep your hands like this or put them behind you. I find it's easier to put them behind you. But lift your leg up and do that ten times. And then do the same thing to the other leg. Okay, and the next thing, this is what I did a lot, so I just like did this when I'm doing my toe touch, like I made sure my chest was up, I did this a lot, I just like practiced the motions while I was in my straddle, and an another reason, to, another stretch to get your toe touch is a middle split, okay look y'all, these hurt really bad, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, I'm not, I'm not going to make it look like it doesn't hurt, but it hurts, okay? hurt really really bad but if you want to get your toe touch you got to do this we'll get a good toe touch it's really easy to get a toe touch but like so you're gonna sit like a frog like this and then hop out like this and then just like hold it for 30 seconds and then after you hold that for 30 seconds and I want y'all to do that for a week and then after you do it for a week you should have a toe touch toe touch before right here toe touch after right here so yeah make sure that you guys like this video and subscribe if you guys have not already i really hope this tutorial helps you guys because it helped me a lot because my toe touches were really bad before i started doing these exercises but now i would like to say they're a lot better so, yeah, if you ever just, like, want to do, like, a really, really good toe touch, just, like, practice these so much because practice makes perfect and, like, I mean, like, I got my splits for practicing for, like, a week. So, <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't gone and watched the splits video, go watch it. And hope you guys like this video. Okay, see you guys whenever I want to post another video. Bye!